I began making videos around you know TikTok and really growing my social media following. I would say right when the pandemic started, and that's when I had a lot more time. Quarantine happened, and um, and so we kind of hunkered down, and that's sort of where it it started. I started social media. You know, I saw other people doing it, and so I figured, you know, why why can't I do it? So. I tried it out and you know, I ended up falling in love with it. I love creating videos and it's just a really good outlet to um, you know, explore that creative side that um, you, know, you might have. Students um, who are interested in healthcare field, um, I would say that is definitely a big, um, a big demographic that you know, makes up my following. Um, pharmacy students, medical students. I would say definitely targeting the misconceptions working in pharmacy is probably one of the biggest goals and I would say objective that I have when I create my videos and, and why I'm on social media in general. A lot of people don't know what pharmacists do or they think, you know, we're um, working behind a counter or re in working in a retail setting. And so I think by showcasing what pharmacists can do, especially ID pharmacists, um, you know, is really interesting. and. and might be able to, you know, inspire that younger generation. A lot of younger students come up to me and they say, you know, I had no idea you can do that as a pharmacist. I didn't know you could work in a hospital and I didn't know you could round with the, um, the medical team and prescribe under certain um, regulations and collaborative practice agreements. And so just sort of expanding that and, and pushing that out to um, others uh, really will help kind of expand um, the profession, I think, and advocate for the pharmacy profession, but also just in general for the healthcare field too, and, and get others inspired. I would say if you are interested in in growing and building a brand on social media, I would say first things first is don't be afraid. Get out of your comfort zone. I know I kind of felt a little bit embarrassed and shy when I first started, but the opportunity is it's amazing and the, the windows that it has opened for me in terms of networking and job growth is just unbelievable and I would do it again in a heartbeat. So, I mean, first things first, if you're a student, a healthcare professional, whatever it may be, you know, get out of your comfort zone and, and try to reach out, see small creators and, and um, see what they're doing. And um, don't be afraid to be inquisitive and ask questions and, um, you know, it, it will really, grow your career and help you develop into you know a better professional at the end of the day. Overall, I think it's a really great opportunity to help grow yourself professionally and also network with others and build you know lifelong uh, relationships with others.